Hi, so you want to know how much light your room needs. Um, I mean, it can be like a kitchen, a warehouse, a museum, an airport, etc. But then you don't know exactly the light requirements I mean, your room needs. And I mean, it's easy. But then a lot of people just go online and look for something like maybe in my case here a bathroom how much light for my bathroom and then they find some bullshit like I don't know use fixtures that provide at least 75 to 100 watts etc which is old-fashioned because we're not talking anymore about like I mean the power etc or talking more about how much light the fixture gives are talking about the lumens or are talking about the lux levels they I mean the luminaires generate etc so I will just go straight to dialogues and show you how to know it inside dialogues you don't need to I mean to go to the internet to look for it you just I mean go to the construction or light tab both work because they both have this I mean vertical tab here spaces and in light we have it here too spaces so just click on it and I mean you can go to room or maybe story the same and you click on I mean um, it's it has it is already clicked so I don't know I didn't pay attention so normally it's something like that uh, when you go and click on this um, vertical tab here spaces you click on this room and on your room I mean it can be everything but in my case here it's a little bathroom and you have this that pops up it says properties height of the space active utilization profile by default dialogues thinks every room you build is um, an office but then you can go and change it like if you go to edit here and when you click on the edit you have this I mean these are the requirements for an office this is the visual task 400 lux surrounding area 300 lux background area 100 lux and then uh, the glare limitation is 19 um, use times etc and then you have um, this height of working plane etc so I will just go to a template selection here you click on it and then you have like a lot of utilizations you can can be like a general areas inside buildings educational premises offices um, then industry and trade uh, blah 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 places of public assembly retail premises transportational areas etc and then inside of everyone there are like other choices like we will see now so i know that i mean the bathroom is inside this one here rest sanitation and first aid rooms so i'll just click on it and then i'll have like a second choice here i have canteens pantries cloak rooms, washrooms, bathrooms, toilets and this is the one I want so I'll just click on it and the requirements here change the visual for the visual task I need 200 lux for the surrounding area 150 and for the background 50 oh no I will go back now so here's what I have and then the glare limitation is 25 not 19 anymore like we need in the offices and then we have the height of the work plane is 0.8 and then you have the wall zone and as I am using the European standards go to file to see what standards you're using settings standards and here preset I have the Europa standards you can use the American ones and the Japan ones Okay, I'll go back to construction or maybe like same thing. I'll go to room here. So now it's not the office anymore, it's the bathroom. Okay, 
we told Dialogs it's a bathroom and then Dialogs told us you need 200 blocks level on the working plane. Okay. And then now in the European standards, we have another thing we can do. Uh, and before that, I will go and look for some luminaires to, I mean, to use in my um, bathroom. So I will go to Loom Search. Here is Loom Search. I will go indoor. Um, I want some sailing resist spots. I can choose maybe this one here. And then you can go and maybe choose the light colors, make it like neutral white for 1000K. Um, illuminate, you can see that you want an LED light fixture and then the maximum power may be 15 and then you have this. I did the same, I found maybe this one here, I found this one, I sent it to Dialogs, you can send it to Dialogs by clicking on this one here, send to Dialogs and then you'll find it there, it's here. You can. I mean, apply them like manually or just going for an automatic um, arrangement. And here it says four, two by two, which which gives us four. And then you can run the calculations to see if it works or not. And we have 210 lux, which is just perfect, which is exactly what we needed. We need to, we needed 200, and now we have 220 and 10 and this is perfect okay but then there is one thing if you pay attention to this the uniformity normally we need a uniformity of i mean let's click on it again we need uniformity here we need it to be 0.4 at least so mm, this one here is so ugly why because the working plane goes through these objects which gives us dark areas and stuff. So, um, we can run the calculations with that object as well as we can do something we have the right to do in the European standards, which is, let's click on this again, the wall zone, we can make it 0.5 meters. In the, in the, I mean, in the European standards, we can do this. I mean, not we can do it, I mean, maybe we need to do it because it's, I mean, um, in the standard itself. And then let's go and run the calculations. Great. Look at this now, look at the uniformity. It's 0.81, which is just like perfect. And the lighting has like, um, increased a little because we have eliminated those dark areas in the I mean next to the wall so yeah you just tell Yalux this is a bathroom and it does the rest or you can tell it this is um, a museum you can tell it this is a bedroom etc and Yalux knows what to do so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet and see you in the next video